Um, I, I've got a book coming out about um, January 6th, and January 6th didn't happen overnight. There, there was a long process, there was a long buildup during the 2020 election of discourse like this, of conversations like this, that said our country is on the verge of collapse unless Donald Trump wins. And in fact, there were many people from these communities, including people like Lance Wano, who said, our prophets tell us that Donald Trump is destined to win this election, that he must win this election, that it's God's will for him to win this election. And once Donald Trump denied the results of the election, people like Lance Wallner and many of the speakers here today were a part of the mobilization effort to enlist Christians to buy into Donald Trump's election lies and to use Christian spirituality and Christian theology to undergird and support and propagandize those election lies. And then many of the people who were leaders in this movement also showed up on January 6th and were key in mobilizing Christians and galvanizing Christians to be there and then showed up there themselves because they really believed that the election was being stolen. Not, not because they had any facts to back that up, but because they had prophecies, because they had experiences that told them, they had, they had a gut feeling that Donald Trump was right. And that led them to participate in an attempt in many ways to overthrow our democracy. That, that to me is what's so concerning, is we are now heading into another election where Donald Trump is one of the major candidates. And what happens if Donald Trump loses and denies the results again? Much of the rhetoric here today, much of the rhetoric you hear from people who are part of this movement, they're saying they got away with stealing one election from us, and from Trump. We're not gonna let that happen again. Believe that it was a demonic conspiracy that stole the 2020 election. And this was a major factor in what happened on January 6th, where Christian believers who believed that a conspiracy of demons manifesting through the Democratic Party, manifesting through disloyal Republicans, manifesting through Mike Pence, had was preventing Trump from winning the election and from fulfilling the will of God.